Hi, good evening. Hello. Hi, good welcome. Evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome you. to your English class. How's it going? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes, thank you. Oh, great. That's good. Perfect. Okay. Everybody fine? Welcome, welcome. Okay, yes. Somebody says hi, class. It's nice to see you. Uh huh. Los demás messages. The welcome. <laughs> Good evening. How are you? How are you doing? How was your weekend? Okay, Teresa says she's gonna be a listener because she's on the way home. Teresa, right in English. Okay, good. Somebody else say good evening. Uh huh. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. How was your day? How was your weekend? What did you do? Did you have a good weekend? Did you rest? Did you work? Did you study? What did you do? Not much? Good evening. Somebody else says good evening. Okay, perfect. Welcome. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I hope you're fine. Okay. So let's get started then. Yeah, some people say good evening on the chat. That's very nice. That deserves a claps, a round of claps, a round of applause. Okay, claps, claps, claps. That's wonderful. Okay, let me start sharing my screen with the class for tonight. So nice tonight. Uh-huh. The participants in this class are very kind, very nice, saying good evening to everyone. This is our class number five. And at the end of this class, of course, we will definitely use uh, the vocabulary for furniture in the house. And we're going to use there is, there are, there is for singular, there are for plural. Okay. So those are the structures we're going to be using. So the vocabulary, armchairs, the stove, curtains, pictures, clock, bed, table, coffee table, microwave, oven, refrigerator, lamps, bed, desk, sofa, television, rug. The television looks very old, right? <laughs> it's not very modern. <laughs> Mirror, chairs, dressers, bookcase. Okay, what do you have in your living room what do you have in your kitchen what do you have in your bedroom what do you have in the bathroom for example you have to describe there is there are there is for singular objects there are for plural an example could be there is a stove in my kitchen there is a refrigerator in my kitchen there are some, well, there are four chairs in my dining room. Yes, there are two armchairs in my living room. There are three lamps in my bedroom. There are two pictures in my bathroom. There are curtains in my living room. There are curtains in my bedroom too, yes? So you will describe what do you have, okay? But for example, if you work with a partner, don't say, what do you have in your house? Oh, many things. No, be more specific. There is for singular, there are for plural. Yes? Is that clear? Of course. Let's see. We're going to make breakout rooms for you to practice. Okay, nice. The vocabulary. We're going to work in pairs. Describe your house. Okay, there are three bedrooms in my house. There's a kitchen. There's a bathroom. This is something we described before. But now the objects, right? 
what you have in each of your rooms. Hi, teacher. No sé si pasó lista. Oh, yes. No lo hice. Ahorita cuando regresemos lo hacemos. Okay. Don't worry. Thank you. Hola, hola. Hola, buenas noches. Entiendo que vamos a mencionar lo que hay en nuestras en nuestra casa, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, correcto. Hola. Bueno. Era, era para singular, para plural, para plural, ajá, y there is para singular. Bueno, entonces sería in my house, they are, no, quiero ver. They are era para singular. No, they are es para plural. Perdón, es que se me olvidó. Vaya, they are uh, pictures. And two pairs. Ajá. No entendí si, digamos, si yo te pregunto que si qué hay en tu comedor. No sé ah. si estoy diciendo en cada cosa es there are, there is, digamos, eh, there is a table, eh, there are uh, chairs, there is a stop. No sé si siempre vamos a ir diciendo there, there, there. Pues creo que sí, de irlas así como en el stand, supongo. Que casi no explicó, o oh, no sé si creo que está la teacher en el salón, en la sala. Yes, it's, it's not necessary that you repeat, like there is, there is, there is, there is, but it's necessary that you use it. O sea, no, lo, no es necesario que lo repitan cada objeto, pero sí es necesario que lo use, no solo que I have, ¿verdad? Yes, for example, there are four chairs in my living room. There are two sofas in my living room. Yes, it's necessary. Pero si digamos decimos un montón de cosas. Mm -hmm. Entonces, por ejemplo, si no altera entre singular and plural, podría ser de una vez. For example, there are two pictures, uh, two chairs, two sofas, two windows. Yes, ahí sí. Pero si... Varía entre singular y plural, ahí sí hay que enfatizar el there is o there are. Ok. Uh -huh. Gracias. All right. Thank you, teacher.
Hola, buenas noches. Sí, sí. No sé, está, está la, la teacher. Hello. Sí. Do you have any question? Uh, no lo entendí bien como que íbamos a hacer. Describe, describe the objects that you have in your house. Using there is for singular and there are for plural. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. For example, plural. yes, what objects do you have in your kitchen? Uh -huh. There is a refrigerator, there is a stove, yes, there are dishes, there are cups, there are two chairs, I don't know, because that depends on what you have in your house. Yes. Okay, gracias. All right. Con imagen de WhatsApp, tal vez tú puedes guiar más fácil. Ajá. Teacher, ¿cómo se decía cocina? Kitchen or stove? Uh, kitchen. Quiero ver. Quiero ver. La de la sala sería como te dice a table o de o oh, there is a sofa or they are uh, two sofa no sé. ok quiero ver mm. como dice sala en inglés I am pone la imagen en la anterior okay. Okay. Fear for trabajar de con y parte. Fear for, ok. Fear for. Quiero ver cómo hay fear for orange. Vamos a ver si sé pronunciarlo muy bien. Ok. Um, y how. Uh, fear. Fear floor. Fear floor. Algo así, ¿verdad? Sí, en la primera planta. ¿Por qué tú que se traba el lengua? First floor, um, um, pone la otra imagen, por favor. Ok. Um, first floor, um, take, table, take, tablet, no. ¿Cómo pronuncia me? Quiero ver, table. Mesa. At first. Um, quiero ver bien la imagen. Un, un char, 
Pues que no veo bien las imágenes, quiero ver. Ah, aquí está. Uy, el WhatsApp dijo el WhatsApp. Um, uh, mi, micro, micro war oven, micro oven, algo así. No sé. Quiero ver. Sí, sí, sí. Um, um, quiero ver. No sé qué decir ya. Ok. Ah, pues creo que eso. Vamos a ver. Uy, no puedo entrar de nuevo a la, a la. Ah, es que es porque estoy compartiendo. Ok. Um, ¿Alguien tiene un bootcase? Bootcase o algo así. Sería como de una librera si no mal entiendo ahí tiene un broadcast broadcast yo, yo sí tengo una librera y ni los leo ah pues sí yo no, no tengo. I don't have I don't have okay, okay. Um, yo no sé yo creo que yo me había confundido des es como escritorio y dresser creo que es como tocador. Dresser. Sí, así que. Yo creo que dresser es tocador y des es escritorio. Uh -huh. Y ahí luego, bueno, Onshire son los sofás. Pero Onshire, según la imagen, son como, como asientos. Y Shire son sillas. Y sofá, un sillón normal. Creo que así lo entiendo. Ah, lamps. No las había visto. Hay lámparas ahí también. All right, welcome. Did you practice? Yes. Thank you for yes, the teacher. reminder of the attendance. I have forgotten it. Okay. Ana Raquel. Not here. Brian Giovanni. Not here. Brian Stanley. Present. Present, thank you. Carlos Alfonso. He's not here. Okay, Damaris. Present. Present, thank you. David. Present, teacher. Hi. Eduardo. Present, teacher. Hello. Present. Thank you. Edwin Ernesto. Hello, no present. Stephanie Beatriz. Present. Hi, Fatima Esmeralda. Present teacher. Hi, Fatima Lourdes. Present teacher. Hi, Fernando Arturo. Hello. Yeah. Not here, Fernando Arturo, tonight. Isabo. I saw Isabo. Sí. Sí, que se me ha ido el link. Ok, Jocelyn Gabriela. Jocelyn Gabriela. Present teacher. Hi. Ok. Jeremia, sorry. Me pareció ver a Jeremia. Ah, present. present. Ok. <laughs> All right. Jessica. Present teacher. How are you? Fine. Karen. Karen Michelle, not here, Anaí, Lourdes, Anaí, not here, Marcos, Javier, present teacher, hi, Nurian, 
Not here. Oh my God, Pablo Jose. Present teacher. Hi, Roxana Beatriz. Present teacher. Hello, yes. Teresa. Hello. Present me. Hi. Y este, fíjese que no sé qué le pasa a la cámara. Tengo problemas ahorita con la cámara. Por eso Jesus. no la he conectado. Okay. okay, try to fix it. No problem. Verónica. Ok, gracias. Verónica, no here, Magdalena. Oh God, Victor, Pelladares. So teacher, present. Hello. And Jessica Marilu. I'm here, teacher. Hi. Great. I'm sorry, I had forgotten to do this in the very beginning. I'm sorry, so sorry about it. Okay, good. Did you describe the objects that you have in your house? Okay, there is for singular, there are for plural, right? Okay, give me one second, just one second, please. Okay, let's continue. We need to practice. Remember, sometimes um, we have the real objects in our houses, so it's not necessary that you're looking at a picture. For example, I can describe the house. Well, I... I have a small house, I have a small apartment, I can say, but try to use the vocabulary, or try to paste the words on the sofa, on the table, on the dresser, on the bookcase, on the refrigerator, on the TV, on the TV set, on the chairs, maybe that way you're going to remember the spelling of the words, right? For instance, I can say, well, my house is kind of a small, kind of uh, simple, but there is a small living room and in the living room there are well there are two sofas there there are two armchairs there's a tv set there's a tv there's a fan there are some pictures let's see what else well in the dining room there's a table there are four uh, chairs yes karen molina Se me fue el inter teacher, pero ya volvió. Oh, thank you, Karen Molina. Let me see. Do you remember your number? No. <laughs> Karen Michelle Molina, right? Yes? Yes. All right, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for the reminder. Okay? So this is what we're going to try to describe, okay? So let me just share the screen once again. And here we go. Hold on. Okay, so this is what, I mean, the vocabulary that we were using, right? So let's continue. Here we have a conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamb. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay. Stephanie, you have a question? Yes. Okay. Tell me. Do you have a question? Because I see you're raising your hand. No? No questions? No, no. Okay. Entonces le bajo la mano. <laughs> Should I? Lower your hand? Yes. Should I? <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> so, this apartment is great. So, if you see... Oh, hold on. Sorry, one second, please. So as you may see, uh, Linda is probably moving to a new apartment, right? So Chris says, this apartment is great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs here in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there is no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. 
So let's go shopping next weekend, okay? So they are describing what, I mean, what objects there are and what objects they need, right? So that's why they say, okay, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. So they need a table, right? There's no sofa here in the living room. So they need a living room, I mean, a sofa in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So they are, I mean, Linda is probably moving to an apartment that is kind of empty. So she needs to go shopping for some furniture. Is that clear? So you're going to practice the conversation. Try to practice, try to um, rotate the roles in the conversation, okay? Don't be shy. Practice as much as possible. No se queden callados. Pueden sustituir por otros objetos. Perfect, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. here in the living room and there aren't any chairs there's only this lamp so let's go shopping next weekend okay Ahora voy a hacer Chris. okay this apartment is great thanks i love it but it really needs some furniture what do you need oh i need lots of things there are some chairs in the kitchen but there is not a table and there's no sofa here in the living room and and there are not any chairs. There is only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay. Okay. Este apartamento está genial. Está genial. Algo así, ¿verdad? Ya sería en español. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Pero necesito. Pero. Mm, ajá. Necesita como que algunas cosas, no Mar. sé. Ajá, sí. más cosas. Furniture. Y ahí le dice cuál es, qué es lo que necesita. Uh -huh. Necesita lots. ¿Qué sería lots of things? Lots. Pero son no sillas. Acuerdo. Abajo le dice sillas en el, la cocina, pero. Pero no. Más no, sillas. No hay mesa. La, la cocina. Pero no hay. Uh -huh. 
pero que no hay pero que no hay mesa uh -huh. table it's not a table uh -huh. en el sofá un sofá en el living room que era living room mm, sala la sala ajá la sala Y le dice que no hay sillas ni, ni lámpara. Y al final le dice, entonces vamos de compras. Next es la como el próximo. Semana. La siguiente semana. La próxima semana. Más o menos, más o menos. Ok, sí, está bien. So, let's go. Okay, next weekend. Ok. Ahora va el compañero con sería Cristian. Si quieres, vaya, vaya, con quién, con Fátima o con quién, con Fátima, ajá, o porque mejor yo, Cris, porque yo ya soy linda. Usted cree. Ajá. Oh, I need love of team. Sería como eh, necesita mucho. Ajá, que necesita muchas cosas. Oh, neces necesita, necesita muchas, muchas cosas. cosas. Dice, there are some shapes. Que esas son unas sillas, dice, en la cocina, pero que no tienen mesa. Y este, un sofá en la sala. De estar. La sala. Y no tiene. Y no tienen algunas, y no tienen algunas sillas, creo. Tiene solo una lámpara. Entonces, ¿qué se va a ir el siguiente fin de semana a comprar? De compra. Ajá. Ok. Creo que más o menos lo interpretamos. ¿Tú qué piensas, Beatriz? Aquí analizando lo estamos. Okay. Um, sí, yo creo que, bueno, al menos lo que no, lo que no sé... Lo que no entendí fue I need loves. Loves en linda donde dice I need loves. Es como que necesita mucho o necesita poco. I need love. Es como bastante halo. Creo que bastante cosas. Ajá, como un montón o algo así. I need love. I need love. Teacher. Hi. Uh, how do you say um, if you are and I furniture. T T furniture. Furniture son muebles. Mobiliario. Ajá, pero es que la pronunciación. Furniture. Furniture. Como shirt. Furniture. Ajá, furniture. Yes. Ah, no, pues vaya. Um, Otra palabra. Uh -huh. um, no, so, quizás That's it. Es. All right. No yeah, problem. Furniture. Yeah, furniture. I need lots of furniture. I need lots of things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you okay. finish practicing? Sí, ya cada quien. All right. Lo repetimos tres veces. <laughs> Good job. No problems. Thank you. Okay.
está en silencio, no se le escucha. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hi. Did you finish Hi. practicing? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any question? Yes. Tell me. What is the question? Mm -hmm. No questions. Se arrepintió lo que iba a Everything clear. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Ask questions. I have a question. I have a question. Tell me. Oh, está preguntando a alguien más. Esperemos. Mm -hmm. Who was asking? Um, me, me. Yes, go ahead, Pablo. How do you say microondas? Microwave oven. Obviously, yo lo estoy haciendo así como frasecita por, fra, por frasecita, pero es mm -hmm. un solo, ¿verdad? Microwave oven. You can say microwave. Microwave oven. Oven. Micro, microwave. Como cuando decimos micro, algo pequeño, microwave oven. Si solo fuera el horno, si no fuera microondas, solamente sería oven. Yes? Correct. Any other question? Somebody else? Oh, sí. Eh, la diferencia entre decir let's go. Y come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Come on tiene como más connotaciones. Podría okay. depender de la entonación con la que se lo digan. Oh, come on. No podría estar hablando en serio. Esa es una. Come on es como también invitar a que vamos. Let's go uh -huh. es más eh, literal. Un poco más literal es que literalmente vamos a hacer algo. ¿Ya? Yeah? Como caminar, como caminamos. Exactly. A caminar juntos. Pero let's, mm. es como hacer algo juntos. Let's see a movie tonight. Veamos una película juntos esa noche. Pero es invitar a alguien a hacer algo juntos. Yes. Mm. Uh -huh. Let's see a movie tonight. Uh -huh. Let's cook dinner together. Yes. Let's study okay. for the test. O sea, estudiemos, pero hagámoslo juntos, ambos, ¿verdad? Okay. So, I mean, Exactly. I'm inviting you, but I'm telling you to do it with me. No es necesario decir, let's go see a movie tonight. That is not necessary. De una vez puede ser la acción. Let's see a movie. Let's yeah. play soccer. Let's play video games. Okay. And let's go es como más. Ir, de ir, vámonos. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank All right. Somebody else? No more? No more questions? Yes? Cortinas, how do you curtains. say? El, eh, la pronunciación de curtains es como un poquito entre la garganta y la nariz. Es como mountain. Mountain. Sale casi que el sonido nasal. So this is curtains. Curtains. There are some curtains. In my living room. Mm -hmm. Curtains. Yes? And the last refrigerator. 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 Si consideran que es un poco difficult, simplemente digan fridge. Yeah. There is a fridge. Yes, there is a fridge in my kitchen. Yes? There are some yes. curtains in my dining room. There are some curtains in my bedroom. All right. More questions? No more? Was the vocabulary easy? You can keep practicing. Keep practicing. Don't be shy. Siempre cuando vean que algo les cuesta un poquito, pues más practiquen. Yes? Yes. All right. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. 
furniture es una palabra que no es muy común. So, se refiere a todo el mobiliario, a todos los muebles. Okay? No necessarily from the house. In the office, there are some furniture. Yes? At school, there's furniture. En los trabajos, there's furniture, right? Siempre y cuando haya mobiliario, sillas, mesas, escritorios, uh, bookcases. Esos son los furniture, dependiendo, obviamente, de cada lugar. No es el mismo furniture, tal vez, que usted tenga in the house, in the living room, que el que va a encontrar seguramente en una office. A menos que tenga una office at the home. And you do home office, right? Pues right. puede variar un poco. Pero, Pero en con... conjunto se llama furniture. Furniture, ok. Uh -huh. En conjunto los abarcamos como furniture. Right. Ok, what do you need? I need lots of things. Lots of things, I necesito muchísimas cosas, right? Lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. Does it feel like conjugation? There is, there's. Yes? There is not, there isn't. There are not, there aren't. Affirmative, negative. Yes? So, let's go shopping. In this case, let's go. It's important because you say go shopping. The action is go shopping, go dancing. Yes? Go swimming. So let's go shopping next weekend. All right. There is this explanation for there is, there are. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's is the contraction of there is. Yes? So we have some sentences right here. Hold on. Okay. Write each sentence in a different way. No estoy diciendo que esto no se pueda decir. I don't have a table in the bedroom. It's correct. Pero también existe another possibility to say there's no table in the bedroom. Yes? Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es reescribir las mismas sentences, pero usando there is, there isn't, there are, there aren't. ¿Está claro? Si la sentence acá es affirmative, obviously aquí va a quedar affirmative. But if the sentence here is negative, the sentence here is going to be negative. ¿Está that clear? ¿Sí queda claro lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Cuál es la diferencia de some y de any? Some se usa en oraciones afirmativas, algunos. Y any se usa en oraciones negativas, significa ninguno. ¿Ya? Ok. Perfect. Vamos a resolver este exercise en los mismos grupos. And rapidito regresamos para compararlos. Ok. Let's go. Hello. 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 afirmativo también tiene que ser 
Um, uh, I don't have a table in the bed. You know, the table in the bed and in the dormitory, right? Mm-hmm. Yo no tengo una, 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 una mesa. There are chai. There. There are. Y esa sería en la, en la tercera. Mm -hmm. la segunda. En la segunda. Uh -huh. En la segunda. Kitchen. Luego en la tercera dice. Sí, de uh -huh. I have a stove, a stove in the kitchen. Uh -huh. There is a stove in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. There is. The reason sería en la otra. Uh, en la cuatro. I don't have a refrigerator. Ah, entonces, ahí sería the reason. The reason, uh -huh. Sí, en la cuatro. There, there are in serie. En cuál? Cinco. En la cinco, I don't there have. There are in curtains on the window. Uh -huh. There, there are not. There, uh -huh. there are not sería porque don es como negativo. Entonces, uh -huh. Ah, sería. There are not o oh, there aren't. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ah, no, que, que siempre está en negativo también. Sí, uh -huh. solo que es como más corto. En vez de decir there are not, there are. Uh -huh. There are in 14 on the, with, on the window. Hay cortinas en la ventana. I don't have any rocks on the floor. No. Ahí sería igual. There aren't rocks on the floor. Uh -huh. There aren't. Y la palabra, la palabra que está antes de, de, de room es living. living. Así eh, se pronuncia. ¿Cuál? ¿A dónde? De donde dice the living room, así se pronuncia esa, esa palabra, living. I don't have a refrigerator. Ahí tendría que ser, me dice que él no tiene un refrigerador, debería ser, there's, there's no, there's no refrigerator. There isn't. En la segunda... Casi al final donde dice, I ready, um, quiero ver, I really, ready, really need some, eh, some, no puedo, después no puedo pronunciar esa palabra, for, furniture, o no, no sé cómo, cómo se pronuncia. Furniture, la teacher dijo que eso sea como furniture. Furniture. Uh -huh. That's correct. Ok. Furniture. Yes. Furniture. Furniture. Yes. Okay. Solo que traten de okay. enfatizar la primera sílaba, fur, furniture. 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 Exactly. Okay. Don't have or they have con el mm. there's not. Porque mira, ahí dice, I don't have a table in the bedroom. Y ahí solo sustituyó el I don't have, mira. Por there's not table. Yo creo que ya se nos va a ir acabando el tiempo, pero igual intentemos hacer una. There are, para mí sería there are some. Que ¿En la cual? Una, ¿En la primera? En la segunda, en la segunda. La primera ya está contestada, la segunda. There are some. Mencionamos otra vez, some. Ajá. Y la tercera, I have, tengo una estufa. En la cocina. Ahí sí es una. There is. There is, come on. There is. En la otra. There is no. I don't have a refrigerator. No tengo una refrigeradora. Entonces, there is not. Correcto. O oh, there are it. Mm, 
está hablando de una y aren es para ah, plural. Sí, there isn't. Y la siguiente. ¿Te fuiste? No. De la última. La cinco. ¿Qué pusiste en la cinco? En la cinco. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know how. Curtain. Cortinas en la ventana. No tengo. There There are okay. Y la sexta sería. Yeah. Ay, no. ¿Qué pasó? Ah, no, me equivoqué. <laughs> Finish. Uh, no, teacher, nos, está costando, nos es, está costando un poco porque es yo, sí, es que entré hace poco cuando puso la, la actividad entré, entonces se me dificulta un poco. It's alright, no problem. We continue practicing, ¿ok? Uh, Vamos okay. a ver cómo nos queda. Ok. Relax. Oh, Jesus Christ. Vamos a ver esto un poquito para acá, para arriba, y nos vamos a ir. Vaya, dice, I don't have a table in the bedroom, so there's no table in the bedroom. Table is in singular, so there's no. Mm -hmm. O oh, there isn't a table in the bedroom. Cualquiera de las dos formas está correcta, ¿recuerden? Mm -hmm. Yes, aquí tenemos, there's no sofa, there isn't a table. Yes, these two forms are correct. So, I have some chairs in the kitchen. Ajá, aquí como nos quedaría. There are. There are. There are. There are is for plural. There are. Chairs. Some. Some chairs in the kitchen. Si le queremos agregar el some, right? Yeah. There are some chairs in the kitchen. Okay. I have a stove in the kitchen. Stove. A stove, singular. So, singular. There is, there, there there is, is a stove. Exactly. There, there is a, a stove. A stove in the Nos kitchen. A. Okay, there's a stove in the kitchen. A means one, right? There's a stove in the kitchen. Okay. I don't have a refrigerator. There isn't. There isn't. There isn't a refrigerator. There isn't. That is optional. Si ustedes quieren decir there's no, también está correcto. Pero lo más común que escuchen va a ser there isn't. isn't. There isn't. A refrigerator. Ay, siempre no olvidamos de la. I'm sorry. There isn't a refrigerator. A means one. Okay. I don't there have are. curtains on the window. So. There aren't any curtains. There aren't any curtains. There aren't any curtains on the windows. El any como para enfatizar que no hay ninguna. Okay. Pero es optional. Podría ser there aren't curtains on the windows. It's okay. Yes, but there aren't any. You emphasize that no curtains on the windows, right? I don't have any rolls on the floor. There aren't rolls. Rolls. Mm -hmm. There aren't, any aren't rolls. yes, to emphasize any rolls on the floor. Yes? Correct? Yes. Questions? Yes. Correct. Questions? No. You practice. There is, there are, there isn't, there aren't, okay? There are some, there aren't any, yes? To emphasize by it. Just because ya casi nos vamos, we are going to repeat the attendance. Aquellos casos que no lograron 
confirmar si estaban o no estaban. Solo me corrobora que estoy en la página correcta. Let me just confirm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Para los que llegamos tarde. Just because. <laughs> ok. Edwin, Ernesto. No, wait a minute. Ana, Ana Raquel. Ya no se presentó Ana, right? Oh. Brian Giovanni. Never, ever. Carlos Alfonso. Tampoco. Edwin Ernesto. No. Fernando, Arturo. Yes, present. Yes. What happened? You are a little bit late. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lourdes. Present teacher. Sobre unirse Lourdes. Okay. Great. And Nuria and Karina. No vino Nuria. Didn't come today. My goodness. And Veronica? Veronica tampoco. Didn't get it. Oh no. That's terrible. Okay. Questions? There aren't How... any questions. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, really? How do you say how do you say llegué tarde? I got late. I got yeah, I joined. In this case, because the class is virtual, you can say I joined the class a little late. I joined the class. Okay. Why? Why, Fernando? What happened to you? I don't understand. <laughs> ¿Qué le pasó? What happened? Oh. Why did you join late? There was mm. no internet. Yes. I was working. No, no, internet. There was no internet. I, Where are you from, I, Fernando? I'm from Sonsonate. Sonsonate. In the city or in a town? In, in a town. Cold? The name of the town? Isalco. Isalco. That's a beautiful town. Yes. Okay, and what do you do? What do you say? What do you do? What is your job? What is your occupation? What do you do? A que se dedica? Mm. What do you do? I, como se dice? How do you say? How I'm do you say? I'm a construction worker. How do you say? Construction. Construction. De construir. Construction worker. I am a construction worker. Construction worker. Construction. Okay. I'm a builder. Como, no sé si vieron builder. el muñequito que se llamaba Bob el Constructor. Bob the Builder. Sí. So, <laughs> I'm a builder. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a construction worker. I'm a builder. Yes. All right. Nice, Fernando. Builder. Thank you. Builder. builder. Yes, easier. I'm a house builder. All right. Nice to see you tonight. God bless you. Night. Nice. 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 nice see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.